It really was remarkable, wasn't it, Simon? Yesterday was the service for the family, the friends, the close colleagues of Sir David Amos, and today it is the turn of the leaders in his political life and indeed in his faithful life as well. Uh, Sir David was a devout Catholic, and this is the mother church of the Roman Catholic faith in England and Wales, so it does seem like a fitting location for his final farewell today. I will step out of the shot just so you can take in this beautiful building. And Rosie and Simon, 38 years ago, uh, this is where Reverend Canon Pat Brown, the Roman Catholic duty priest for Parliament, he actually officiated the wedding between Sir David Amos and his wife Julia in this very church, Westminster Cathedral. And 38 years later, it is Reverend Canon Pat Brown who will be delivering today's homily. So it has almost come full circle that this is where David and Julia started their lives together as a married couple and it is where the end of his life will be marked today by the very same man that officiated their wedding. I think that is a really beautiful, almost full circle moment. And at that wedding, Sir David did not want an understated affair. He wanted his wife to arrive in a horse-drawn carriage and we know from what we're, what we're expecting today that this is going to be a magnificent affair. It's going to be very grand, very much the style that Sir David Amos wanted. In fact, when he was knighted, he actually went out and bought a suit of armour and walked through the, the streets of South End in that suit of armour. He was one for grand gestures. He was one for big events. And this, this event today does seem like it would be very fitting for a much-loved man and indeed a man of faith as well. So what are we actually expecting today in the ceremony? Well, the Archbishop of West Westminster will preside uh, over this service this morning and His Excellency Archbishop Claudio Gudrotti, who is the apostolic nuncio to Great Britain, basically he's the ambassador for the Pope, for Pope Francis. He is uh, the ambassador for the Vatican. He was going to be delivering a message from Pope Francis. I'm sure we're going to hear about Sir David being a great man of faith in that message. We're also going to see members of Parliament from uh, both Houses of Parliament. They're going to be present. Uh, and the House of Commons doorkeepers, they are going to provide a guard of honour this morning. And Anne Widdecombe, who's a close family friend of Sir David Amos, she will be delivering the eulogy. And Anne Widdecombe herself is a devout Catholic. That's something that her and Sir David had in common and which was the foundation of their friendship. I'm sure that's what's going to be touched upon today. So the service starts in about two hours' time. We are expecting to see Prime Minister Boris Johnson, members of Cabinet, uh, former Prime Minister Sir John Major and David Cameron will also be here, as well as the leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer. So it looks like it will be a grand and a very emotional farewell to a much-loved man and a man of faith at the Mother Church of the Roman Catholic Church in England and Wales.